hello so now that you have decided to go ahead with drupal let us first discuss what is a cms basic overview and what is the functionality that is basically provided by the cms and why do we need a cms so first of all let's have a look at a website since we are going to be dealing with deploying or developing a website using a content management system let's have a look at a website now in the background you can see this is the drupal's website or this is uh, my blog over here or this is another content management system or uh, it's called as moodle it's a learning content management system where from where you'll be doing the courses and other things so all these things have basically some content now, so what exactly is content content is anything that you want to display on your website now that could be text images documents or videos or whatever so when you deploy a website it has some purpose fine and the content is basically going to be generated by you maybe let us say if uh, we uh, go to the blog of a website or something like that there will be articles that are going to come up so what is to be done is you have to you will be writing that content typing it out and uploading it onto your website now whenever we create a new page or any section let us say here this is the main page of the website for drupal and when we go to why drupal for developers when i click on this you will notice a new page opens up where there is some different content fine so similarly if we go to uh, community there is a community portal over here which has some other kind of information fine you can get some information related so basically whatever this is over here written under different pages sections these links that are there on the website that are to be managed and when we talk about a website which has to be updated regularly added with new contents and so on the basic four operations you will be doing over there and every content management system will basically provide you something called as a crud c r u d that is you will be able you should be able to create your content from the content management interface you should be able to retrieve that interface and display it so right now when i am looking at this website or when i am looking at this blog fine there is some article over here or something like that fine so over here when i click on this here it displays me that article now this article i had written earlier so which was the creation part now with the link that was being displayed i clicked on it and i was able to retrieve that content so cr create retrieve update if i want i should be able to update this article as and when required that is the update part from crud next is delete maybe for some reason i don't need a page anymore maybe this section is not relevant anymore i should be able to delete that content or remove that content interface should be provided for that purpose apart from just managing the content your text images and so many other things you should be able to do a lot of other things in any generic website you have or in any website rather you have this things called as hyperlinks or menus and other things so whenever we will be creating this content you should be able to automatically or your content management system should be able to automatically place these links so that our content is easily accessible that is also a part of the retrieval process now these are the basic functionalities that will be provided to you by a content management system also uh, via drupal you are going to get the same functionality so drupal will also provide us more functionalities that we will be seeing in upcoming sessions now before we will be proceeding in the next video i will discuss what is a static website and we'll just have a look how uh, to create a simple website with four or five pages and what are the problems that we are going to face 
when you actually work with a static website though static websites have their own advantages and disadvantages we will be uh, having that discussion probably later on but for the time being in the next session we will just have an overview of how a, what is a static website and how it is managed so uh, see you in the next session